If you had to guess, do you think kids or grown-ups have more bones? It seems like it should be adults, right? In general, we are taller. Well, I'm not very tall. And we've been growing for much longer. But actually, kids have more bones than adults. When you are born, you start with around 300 bones. But by the time you're an adult, you have only 206. Where do you think those bones went? Do we lose them? Oops, sorry, I lost a bone. Do we grow out of them just like baby teeth? Oh honey, don't forget to put your femur under the pillow tonight. No, it's a pretty incredible thing that when babies are born, their bodies are soft and flexible. And as you grow, many of your bones that were once soft get harder and fuse together with other bones. So do your bones stop growing when you are an adult? Not exactly. While your bones may be solid and unchanging, bones are constantly doing what's called remodeling. Remodeling is the process of new, bo new bone tissue forming and the old bone tissue breaking down into calcium or other minerals that your body can absorb. It's perfectly normal and healthy and it happens your whole entire life. In fact, your whole skeleton completely replaces itself every 10 years or so through remodeling. Any guesses on what this might have to do with our Bible passage today? Ezekiel and the Valley of the Dry Bones is a story of the prophet Ezekiel being in a pretty hopeless place and just not just because he was surrounded by bones. Ezekiel and the nation of Israel had very little hope. Their army was killed, their temple and capital were destroyed, people were poor and didn't have enough food, many of them were prisoners and were taken away to different lands. But God told Ezekiel that there was hope. That even though he couldn't see anything good or hopeful, Ezekiel was reminded that God can do anything. God told Ezekiel that there would be a way out of no way. I'm not sure what hopeless times you have been through. Maybe you lost someone close to you or you had to move and leave your friends behind. Maybe you've struggled with school and feel like you're just not smart enough or people you trusted were unkind to you. Maybe you hear something really sad on the news or you're really worried that someone you care about is sick. Unfortunately, we all find ourselves in pretty hopeless times at some point in our life. We will find reason after reason why we should be fearful and anxious and yet we are reminded that even when we see no way, there is hope. God created our bodies knowing that they would need to be flexible, strong, and adaptable. God brought hope to Israel and Ezekiel, promising that the hopeless times wouldn't last forever. God promised that Israel would be remade or remodeled. The dry bones and broken places would be mended, just like our bodies remodel themselves without us even thinking about it or feeling it. Our bodies are made perfectly so that we can grow from flexible babies to strong adults. Our bodies remodel themselves and God gives us hope that even the hopeless places around us can be remodeled too. I heard a joke about remodeling, but I'm still working on it.